Bryce looking at the O'Shea runners for the weekend. Start off in the Golden Pendant with Deer Valley, who's resuming from a spell. Yeah, she's a new acquisition, Ed, and um, uh, look, we're, we're, we're delighted to uh, have been given her from the Sejan Ho group who purchased her at the Mayor sale from Magic Millions. Um, they had a bit of success there with your father there last Saturday, so it, it, that's great for the Sejan Ho group, and we'll be looking to uh, do that again on Saturday. She's a filly that's uh, come to us in great order, uh, trial particularly well next to a horse called Love Conquers All that probably uh, makes her appear to be going pretty well on the Saturday. Uh, she's going very well here at home, um, healthy and strong, whether or not the track's a little bit for, firm for her, but uh, look, it's a, it's a strong, even race, but she's here to give a great account of herself. You mentioned that trial. How'd she come through it? Fantastic, yeah. Trial's really brought her on. <clears throat> Needed the trial um, and uh, just the day out, and uh, it's really brought her on, and her fitness levels are where they need to be to be uh, in the finish first up. In the Dulcify Handicap, 1,900 metres, got two runners, Big Time and Quack Quack. Uh, start off with Big Time. Uh, he broke his maiden uh, last, Saturday, uh, last Sunday at Warwick Farm. Yeah, just a horse that's um, maybe not quite there yet um, in terms of like he's a preparation away, but racing experience has brought him on after his first couple of starts and, uh, you know, the blinkers went on there on Sunday and um, he's a horse, that, he's a big horse, but he can gallop and uh, there was evidence on Sunday. So, uh, look, he's on the back up, um, can't fold him since his run, licked his bin um, and probably just uh, really got a bit of confidence about him going into Saturday. So um, it'll be advantageous for his racing pattern there on Saturday. So uh, we go there with a little bit of optimism. Is the six-day backup going to be an issue, do you think? Won't be with him. Uh, he's a big, strong, strapping horse. Um, like I say, he's lapped up Sunday, and uh, you wouldn't know he's had a run. And how about the step up to the 1,900? Don't think it'll pose a drama. I think um, I think going forward, he's probably a mile and a quarter, mile and a half horse, and uh, probably um, he was pretty strong to the line there on Saturday. I know he had a lot of favours, but um, no, he, he's bred to go that far, and he's given every indication that he's ready to go that far too. Quack Quack also runs in the Dalsify. Yeah, um, she's um, she's a filly of some quality. Um, she's just probably <clears throat> uh, still maturing a bit and taking a little bit longer. And, a, and like her, a bit of racing experience has brought her on. Um, she is coming out of a maiden at Kimbler on Saturday, but her run was outstanding off a slowly run pace. And um, she's going to get back. That's the key to her. You've, she, you've got to ride her quiet. Um, with the right run in transit and uh, being able to get to the, the right part of the track, uh, she will be attacking a line eight. It'll just be uh, as to whether the uh, track pattern of the day is suits her. Can you separate the two? Oh, look, I think um, I'm going into the race. I think um, big time he's going to be, uh, he's going to race handier in transit. And uh, I think uh, I would anticipate that that would be uh, a bit more to advantage for those runners that can sort of race on speed there at Rose Hill on Saturday on a firm track with a rail out. Light in the night has been nominated for the 13.50 handicap and also for Friday night at Canterbury. Yeah, um, he's just coming to hand slowly, Ed, and uh, look, he's, um, you know, he's had a trial there at uh, Wyong. I um, thought the trial was pretty good. A lot of people were sort of ho-hum on it. I thought the trial was pretty good. Uh, James McDonald was very happy with him and uh, we'll probably looked to start him on the Friday night. He is a horse um, that... Uh, you know, creates a bit of excitement around the place and um, we just look to get him underway there on Saturday and uh, we won't be sort of throwing him in the deep end too much this preparation but if he continue to, to go through his grades and um, he appears to come back um, and improve to us as well from where he was at last preparation. And what's he headed for after this weekend? Uh, look, like I say, we'll just keep him at his grades and um, look, he'd probably just step up to sort of a perhaps a 1300 race and still at the ratings base race and you never know, he may end up in a Hawkesbury Old Cup at the end of it or something like that but uh, that's a bit far advanced yet as I say we just keep him to his grades and um, he's probably a horse that uh, we'll get pretty serious with in the autumn. Bryce the best of the O'Shea runners for this weekend? Uh, without a doubt Deer Valley I mean in a very strong race very competitive she'll have a work cut out to do it appears to be going well enough and as a horse uh, in our joint that is definitely going well enough so definitely Deer Valley.